All right, welcome to part five, um, the unexpected addition to this uh, series of videos on using Microsoft Forms and Power Automate to create tasks and planners. So I'm going to ask a question about uh, how to dynamically assign buckets to those tasks, or, or I should say create those tasks in buckets. So this is an answer to that question. So this is a bit straightforward, a bit more straightforward some, than some of the other pieces. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the different details, but I'm going to make a couple assumptions about how you want things set up. So uh, I'm going to assume that first off that you have your form and that you're using a form now. I'm going to basically piggyback on this task category, which I'm already using to assign the task to a particular person who's associated with these different categories of management operations and research but I'm going to assume that you want to leverage those same um, categories to create buckets now if you want to use a different question in your form to say what type of task is this and then in that question you would define those buckets you can basically take this information and apply it to that uh, but I'm going to assume that you want to use these categories. Uh, so in the plan itself, I created tasks, I'm sorry, buckets rather, for management operations and research. Now before we jump into the nitty gritty of how we go about doing that, let's talk a little bit about what buckets are in Planner. So if you're not familiar with Planner and haven't really used buckets, I know a lot of people that do use Planner but don't use buckets at all they just kind of have that one to do bucket um, and that's fine if it works for them but really buckets are meant as an organizational uh, layer in planner uh, they're basically like folders so in that when you have a task a single task that's assigned to someone it can only exist in one bucket or belong to one bucket so in that case they're very much like folders uh, however you can very easily move a task from one bucket to another simply by dragging it in the planner interface. Um, buckets uh, in planner are, it's important to note that as a kind of an object in planner, they do have multiple properties like a name, which is the name that you assign to the bucket, as well as an ID, which is a long, ugly string of characters that you would never be able to guess. Um, so what we're going to need to do is find that ID. Uh, because in order to assign the task to a bucket, you need to use the bucket ID. You can't just give it the name of the bucket. So how are we going to go about doing that? Basically, three steps. Some of these are, the last one's going to be a little complex, but pay attention, you'll be fine. So basically, first we need to list the buckets for our plan. And basically, that's just a simple action where it asks you for the plan, and there the group name and the plan name and then it's going to return a list of buckets then we're going to use a filter array action to basically that that's going to re, you know that list of buckets action is going to return an array of data an array of objects list you know with the identification of each bucket then we need to filter that to find the one that matches the value selected in our category on the form and then in order to get the ID from that object because filtering it basically results in a single object but then we need to basically extract the ID from that so let's take a look at how that actually works so I'm going to go into Power Automate and this is the same flow I used in the last video the group form planner test creation and I'm going to click edit and down here at the bottom, I'm going to add a new scope. Again, you don't have to use scopes, but I find them really helpful, especially in more complex flows. And I'm going to call this handle buckets. All right, so in here, I'm going to add an action. And there is a planner action called list buckets. And again, I need to give that the name of the group ID, so the, the name of the group, and then the plan ID, which is escape tasks. And that's going to return us the list of an array of objects defining each of the buckets. So then 
what we need to do is filter that array. So I'm going to filter, type in filter and select filter array. And let me rename this filter array of buckets. And what are we filtering? Which array are we filtering? Basically the output of this list buckets action. So that's going to be simply list buckets value. Pretty simple. And then what filter are we applying? So how do we how do we identify the bucket that we want? Uh, basically we need to match the name and under list buckets you'll see that there's a value name, value plan ID, value ID, and value item. So we're going to select value name. That is the human readable, that's the name that you assign to the bucket when you create it. Uh, now bear in mind that if you rename your buckets and don't rename that question or the value, the choice in your form, this will break. So I would suggest that you sort of standardize and lock in on those or just know that if you're going to change in one place you need to change it in both. There's no way to magically sync them up. Um, we could also create a new bucket if we want to but again we're not going to get into that in this video. We're keeping this pretty basic. So I'm going to select value name is equal to, and that's perfectly fine, and then what value are we matching that to? Well, we're matching it to the category, uh, the task category question on the form. So under get response details, task category. So what that's going to return is simply the one object from there that matches that. But filtering an array still results in, array, in an array because it could still have multiple items. So we still need to think about that. Uh, now I would normally throw some compose steps in here, but I'm going to assume that you've seen enough of that in the previous video. So we're going to jump right into um, basically putting that expression into our bucket ID field. So here's our bucket ID, and I'm going to enter a custom value. And we're going to jump over to expression. Now if you want to, essentially what we want to return is the first item in that array. Now there's only one item in the array so we could use equally use last but bear with me. Uh, we're just going to select first and that's going to be we need to give it a collection or an array of data so the array of data we're going to give it is the output of the filter array of buckets so select body there. Now if we just leave it at that, then it's returning that whole object. <clears throat> what I actually want is the ID of that. Uh, so what I need to do is right outside the second parenthesis there, we're going to put a question mark, square bracket, single quote, and the letters ID. So that will give us the ID of that the last item of that array. Click OK, hit save, and then I'm going to go over to our form and we're going to run a test and I'll call this uh, super critical management task. Select management. Say this is I'm going to start on the 28th and it's due on the 29th. It's super important. And say number one, that is the highest priority. We'll leave the checklist items out and I'll skip the related files and click submit. And let's jump over to our flow and see that it ran. So it succeeded three seconds ago. And if we go into our plan, let's refresh that. There is our super critical management task in the management bucket. So again, I streamlined this a bit. So hopefully it answers your question. Um, if Essentially, if you wanted to create a new bucket, um, you would 
kind of use the same thing, but you again need to think about on your form, do you want to ask them for the name of the bucket and then create it? Do you want to have a choice field where they can select? I mean, there's a bunch of different ways you could handle that. I don't want to try to presume what it is you want to do, but if you have a established set of buckets and you can easily map that to a choice question on your form, then this should allow you to do what you want to do. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, throw those in the comments below. Thank you and have a great day.